Hello, welcome back to Jamie's Man Cave, or the Man Cave Beers podcast, if you're listening. So, we've got something slightly different. It is a beer review, but we're going to do a stout off. So we've got Forged Irish Stout, which is from Conor McGregor and the Black Forge Inn, Dublin, Ireland. We've got the Old Faithful, Guinness, Draft in the 538ml can, and we've got Brew Dogs, Black Heart. Wow, have a little taster, see which one wins. We're not going to go massively into critiquing all of them, they're all fairly... Um, obviously Guinness is, is, is Guinness, and we know what Guinness does and what it's all about. And then you've got Brewdog, who's, who's the newcomer this year that's trying to muscle in on that on that um, that that category, and the Forged Irish Stout, which obviously has been sort of well publicised by being part of Conor McGregor's brand, um, the Black Forge Inn in Dublin. Obviously, gets gets quite a bit of traffic through there, and quite a few sort of well-known beer reviewers um, reviewing it. And, and it was exclusively available on draft at the pub until recently, so that's just been released this week in can form, the nitro can form. So, let's get them poured out. This is a bit of a new thing. I haven't done this before, so bear with me. We'll go straight in with the Guinness. In the Guinness glass, because, well, that's what it deserves, doesn't it? We've overflowed. That's the Guinness. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So it says on the pack of four that, you know, it's in the new 538 milliliter can, perfect for your pint glass. And then it bloody overflows. <laughs> um, right. Brew Dogs Black Heart. Get them poured out. Maybe it was my paw. My wild paw. That one's overflowed as well. Oh dear. We're not doing very well. And... Forged Irish Stout, the Nitro on the back, another lively one. Try not to overflow this one. Can have a little look at the Guinness. Looks like Guinness, decent, uh, a decent pint. Dark black colour with the creamy whitish coloured foam head at the top. Um, everyone knows what Guinness looks like. Then we've got Brew Dogs Black Heart, which again got that dark black colour, but then it's got it's got the creamy foam head, but it's more of a sort of brownie beige sort of colour. Smells really nice from where I'm sitting. Um, and then the Forged Irish Stout again. The dark black colour, the creamy foam head, um, whitish, slightly, slightly beige, but more white than beige, close to the Guinness. Um, yeah, let's let's give them a taste, shall we? What should we start with? Should we go with Guinness? I've got my water here as a palate cleanser as well. In between, you know, we're not too scientific, but let's give it a go. Let's go for Guinness. It smells like Guinness. You don't. For me, when you when you're trying to get the aroma from Guinness, I don't really get a lot. Not a lot. Bit of creaminess, bit of very faint um, roasted coffee, maybe. So Guinness, smooth, easy drinking. Um, 
slightly bitter, dry finish. There's some slight chocolatey roasted malt coffee notes there, but they are slight. And I think, to be honest, that's probably one of Guinness's big selling points, isn't it? It's it's a stout that that really hits hits the spot and is a tasty one. But at the same time, for the sort of non-stout drinkers or or the um, people that don't delve too deeply into the dark side of beer, let's call it that. You know, Guinness is an easy drinker for them, I would imagine. Right. Brewdog's Black Heart. Get a little bit more chocolatey, sweet chocolatey uh, aroma. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice I didn't have my palate cleanser. <laughs> Right, should we try that one again? Brudo Black Heart. So initially it feels like it's going to be the thick smooth creaminess. But it doesn't necessarily last. It doesn't... The mouthfeel doesn't doesn't last as long as the Guinness. It's slightly thinner, or yeah, it is thinner, and you get a little bit of roasted coffee and some 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 ca uh, cacao, but the earthy greenness of the cacao rather than a um, rather than it coming through as a as a dark chocolate or a chocolatey flavour. Um, let's go for the forged. Oh. Smooth. Thick, smooth, creamy mouthfeel. Dry at the back end, at like the Guinness. Um, dark chocolate. Slight sweetness of a of the like the creaminess, or maybe even a milk chocolate. You've got the dark roasted malt. You've got coffee. It is thick um, and smooth. It's got a bit more body and the flavour to the Guinness. It's got a bit more going on with the 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 coffee, the roasted and the uh, the roasted malts and the chocolate notes. He's doing a little bit more than the Guinness. Um, possibly even slightly smoother. Uh, maybe on par. Um, the the Guinness and the and the forged are both um, more body, thicker, creamier smoother than the black heart tasting wise the guinness and the, and the forged are, are, are very close very similar uh, i could see that, that that the forged would appeal uh to guinness drinkers i, I would say um if i could get that on draft somewhere nearby well i can if i want to go and watch rex and play football uh <laughs> but at the moment that's the only place otherwise you've got to get it in cam form or go to dublin uh, whereas Guinness, obviously, is widely available everywhere, as is the Brewdog. Um, the Brewdog is is thinner, it's lighter, and it's got that earthiness, that greenness that I can see what they're trying to do with it. They're trying to create something that is possibly going to rival Guinness. And pique the interest of of people who might drink Guinness or the craft beer drinkers that like stouts. That you know, if if you know, if a craft beer drinker nowadays is still drinking Brudo, which they're probably not. Um, I think that's kind of the avenue they've tried to. They've tried to sort of um, join the two sides of the coin of what appeals to Guinness drinkers and also what appeals to. Um, craft beer drinkers that enjoy stouts 
and it and it kind of just doesn't really fulfill either side to be honest for me it's like it's it's thin i wouldn't you know if i saw it on draft somewhere i might be tempted to try it to see if it's any better on draft than it is in the cam but i wouldn't rush out to go and get that again i wouldn't i wouldn't pick up a four pack necessarily if if i was wandering through the supermarket obviously the guinness i would um i like a guinness and it, it does what it says on the tin. We all know what we're going to get when we buy a Guinness. And obviously, craft beer drinkers, even, you know, people of Ireland and drinkers of this, the, the Irish stouts could, could comment and, and leave me a hundred different stouts that I should try. Um... But obviously these are the wide scale, most popular with the, all the marketing and the branding that goes on behind it. I like, for, I like the forged, I do like it. It's tasty. Um, I mean, which one wins out of them three? Brewdog comes in at number three, surprising. Um, but do you know what? I, I I'd probably say Forged goes to number one. I think I think Forged would go to number one at this moment in time for me. Um, I'd maybe need to see how this UK rollout goes, and if we get it in a few pubs where I can get it on draft, and to can sort of taste compare on draft Guinness versus Forged would be an interesting uh, an interesting tasting session. So that's potentially what I'd I'd probably do. If it got picked up by a supermarket and I and I saw it regularly as I was wandering around in my food shop, I would get another four pack. I would, I would go again. So yeah, quite quite pleased with that. Quite impressed. So that was the stout off for Jamie's Man Cave YouTube channel. Um, forged Irish Stout coming in at number one on this occasion. It looks good in the glass. Um, branding wise, it's very similar branding to the Guinness. They all tend to use the um, the black with the gold and the white, or the off-white. There's the Guinness branding. Very well known. And also Brewdog going in with the same kind of pattern. But so a, a sort of direct shot at, at Guinness with the black and gold. Um, yeah, so Forged Irish Stone comes out on top. Very good. Right, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.